In a deeply concerning development, the recent terrorist attack in Gaganghir Gandrabal district of JKUT has raised serious questions about the safety of critical infrastructure in Jammu and Kashmir. Initially thought to target non-local laborers, intelligence suggests the assault may have been aimed at the Z Mode project, an essential initiative set to improve connectivity between Ladakh and the rest of India. The 6.5 km tunnel is crucial for air round access, especially for the Indian Armed Forces in a region bordering Pakistan and China. As authorities investigate the attack, this incident highlights the urgent need to safeguard strategic projects from emerging threats, particularly in light of increasing attacks involving external influences. Member of Parliament for Ladakh, Mohammad Hanifa Jan, who was on a three-day tour of Zanskar, assured local residents that the ongoing boundary issue between Ladakh, Union Territory and Himachal Pradesh will be raised with higher authorities. During this three-day tour of the Zanskar subdivision, the MP urged both the public and governments of Ladakh and Himachal Pradesh to refrain from any actions until the boundary is officially decided. He also visited key areas including Longnak Block and Sandu to address public grievances and assess the situation firsthand. In a significant move towards improving road safety, the Ladakh administration is set to install real-time speed detectors and camera surveillance in accident-prone areas across the Union Territory. This decision follows a recent review meeting chaired by Dr. Pavan Kotwal, advisor to the Lieutenant Governor, to assess the response to a tragic school bus accident in Durbuk Lay on August 22nd, which claimed seven lives and injured 21. The administration is pushing for stricter enforcement of traffic rules with a deadline set for December 30th to install these monitoring systems. These measures aim to prevent future accidents and provide safer roads for the people of Ladakh. In a proud moment for Ladakh, Brigadier Rinchin Dorje, VSM, has made history by becoming the first Ladakhi to be promoted to the rank of Brigadier in the Indian Armed Forces. This prestigious achievement not only highlights his personal dedication and leadership but also brings immense pride to the entire Ladakhi community. LASDC lays chairman Tashi Galson and other prominent leaders like Sajjad Kargili have extended their heartfelt congratulations, celebrating this milestone as a reflection of Ladakh's growing role in national defence. In the backdrop of India-China border agreement, Army Chief General Upendra Divedi has emphasised India's commitment to restoring the pre-April 2020 status quo while also aiming for disengagement and de-escalation along the contested frontier. He stressed the need to rebuild trust between the two nations for long-term peace and stability. The University of Ladakh's Leh campus has launched the week-long science workshop are you set up 2024 fostering curiosity science in young minds of the Ladakh region aimed at nurturing scientific inquiry and interdisciplinary research the workshop is set to inspire students from various departments including zoology mathematics and geology the event was inaugurated with remarks from prominent faculty members and guest speakers included scientists and professors from renowned institutions. The workshop has received strong backing from the university's leadership with Vice Chancellor Professor S. K. Mehta and Chief Guest Dr. Subraj Sharma playing key roles. The event aims to deepen scientific curiosity among Ladakh's young minds.